This space allows me to do a lot. If I weren't here, I'd be um, either at friends' houses or sketching wherever I can. Everyone bounces off and builds off of each other. It has like solidified my choice to be an artist in general. <laughs> Yaksters. That's what we all call ourselves. Our motto is do art and be kind. The kids come here after school and are able to work on what they want to work on with adult artist mentors to help them um, learn new techniques. But we also really want them to get used to working th with their own ideas. When I first joined, I, I knew that it'd be a harder time for me to pay for the 40 bucks a month because I'm a pretty poor family right now. So, like, to make up for that, I helped out as much as I could around here. I cleaned up extra, I stayed into the dishes. They saw that, and they gave me the scholarship, which is, like, the next year will be paid off for me. Like, a month after I joined, they gave me an internship. So I get to stay and work late, and I am here probably more than I am anywhere else. <laughs> I grew up as an artist, and ever since I was five, I have been infatuated with drawing birds, drawing dinosaurs, and um, most importantly, just being able to express myself. There's so many different artists. They're just wonderful people. They opened up their arms to me. I hate to tell you. I'm an alumni currently on summer vacation from college, and. Every year I come back and do stuff at Yak. When I was the intern I did a lot of work with our fundraising events and meeting people at receptions. This has given me the opportunity to meet people and you know as an artist that is a huge part of your career. I'm working on a kids book right now and that's my first book. I did a watercolor of the banner and if you look over here this banner is going to go right across here. If I didn't do Yak, my self-esteem might be a little lower. I might not want to make a book. You know, I, who am I to make a book? Uh, my family, they're kind of disconnected because from the, the outside in, artist seems like it's like this untouchable world. And it, I think it's the natural thing for a lot of artists to where people think that it's this God-given trait that they, you know, they were born with and they could just do it perfectly on the first try. It's not easy, <laughs> but it's just how it is. <laughs> I've been doing a big series about slacklining, which is a sport that I'm really interested in. I was just walking home and I took a shortcut through one of the parks and I saw people with these huge lines and I just thought it was the coolest thing, so I stopped and I drew them for a while, and then gradually they became like my biggest group of friends. I have a little community of highliner photographers that I can use their photos without worrying about royalty. You can't do real art unless you are doing it truly from your heart and soul and mind. And as a result, we really do get to know who they are. Be intimidated by all the really good artists here and then it'll make you feel like you need to be a better artist to be like with them. And they always make sure that they're 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 self-motivated. Because the, the kids are allowed to explore these different mediums in art, they're allowed to grow and nurture themselves. I actually just got accepted for a show and it's focused on all of my slackline related work. These are exciting moments because you know you brought them all the way from a 14 year old to somebody who will run a yak someplace themselves. I want to start a yak in whatever community I'm living in. And that to us is uh, the success.